Why, hello and welcome to the Ferk Polo stream. I am here once again as Zeno to show you how to get things done. Today we're talking about Marvel Rivals. Because Marvel Rivals is moddable as a UE5 game, it is a little bit more difficult than it was before, but it is still very possible. So if you are missing some of your display mods, missing some of your character models, you can fix that. Very quick, very simple process. The first thing you're going to do is you have to download a tool called FModel. It's free open source software. FModel looks like this. Once you get it, currently it's looking at a different directory. So once you have FModel, that's really the first thing that you're going to need to do. Because what we're going to do, and I'm going to explain this really quickly, is we're going to unpack the game files from their .pack file. So let's say that they're in a, they're in a, a little folder. We're going to take all those files out, lay them on the table. Then we're going to come in with our mods, and we're going to replace just the specific files for those mods in that new paper we stack on the table, on the desk. That's essentially all we're doing here. So very quickly, you're going to come in here. You go to Directory, Selector. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to add an undetected game because Marvel Rivals probably isn't going to be in here. This is your first time. Click the little up-down arrow. It'll add this. Click the three dots, and you'll be able to go to your Marvel Rivals folder. Now, mine is under C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Marvel Rivals, Marvel Game. This is the folder that you want is Marvel Rivals, okay? So this one with care set, normalized, config, log, Marvel game, PS util, side, 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 shiboken, temp. This is the folder you want. So in this folder, you select it, okay? That's it. Hit the plus. It's now added. It's the top of the directory. Click OK. It says I need to restart. Every time you change something in F model, it will restart. Not a problem. Now, we're in here. Now we're looking at the pack chunks for the game, okay? We're also going to go to settings and we're going to make sure our output directory is in the same place. What I like to do is I like to come into Marvel game, Marvel, and I create a folder called unpack. I do this so that I can select unpack as my output folder. The reason I do this is just to give us somewhere to stick the original files before we copy them over so that we can make a copy of them to have for later in case we want to replace any mods we don't like. So once you've done all this, you've created this directory and you've linked yourself to unpack. Hit OK. It will li very likely restart the software again. If it doesn't, that's totally fine. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So it'll say, usually say, hey, you changed your directory. As you saw, I already had the directory. Now, when you load this up, these are going to be red. Why? You have to go to directory and you have to add the static AES encryption key for the hashed files. This is the hash that unlocks the files as they are encrypted. This is posted in the video description down below. You can grab it there or you can copy it from here. I don't know why you would. That would be insane when you can just copy and paste. Put the main static key into this field and click OK. You will see these go from red to green, which means you now have access to unpack these files. You're going to go to pack chunk character windows dot pack. Double click on this. We'll open this. Click one left click, right click, export folders, packages, raw data. UA asset, and it is going to take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up here. As long as it still says loading at the bottom, you are good. Wow, magic. You didn't even see me get up and stretch my back. All right, now that the folder's done, click right here where it says successfully exported. See here, I have that folder under my Marvel game, Marvel Unpack. That was the folder we set in settings. Go to exports, and you'll see a Marvel folder. Now it's going to go me Marvel, content, Marvel, characters, and VFX. You're going to take this folder. It says Marvel. Okay. We're going to cut this folder. And then since we're already in the Marvel Rivals folder, we go into the Marvel game. So it says Engine Marvel. And if you go Marvel, Content, Marvel. So under Marvel, Game, just paste it here. It is going to take time. This, let's speed time up again. Oh, that actually, actually didn't take very long. So now, Marvel, Content. Marvel, so there's characters and VFX. Ignore Ys and UI, I, I've done some other modding to this game, but this is what you'll have, is you'll have non-assets to copy, which is in here originally, characters and VFX. Now that that's in here, the last step to activate this is to go into content, packs, and then take that pack chunk character windows that you exported. We're just gonna move that out of the folder. Okay, I like to move it out of the folder just to save it, just in case later I wanna put it back in. Uh, I want to unmod the game. You can just drop the pack file back in. The game will see that first. It'll ignore all of the modded changes that you made. So now it's not in here. 
So the game shouldn't load if we did this incorrectly. So we're going to go ahead and try Marvel Rivals. We're going to start it up. We should see right away the anti-cheat come across. Anti-cheat will load as soon as I click launch here. That's the first thing that happens, and it's one of the most important. Anti-cheat's down here on the right. You can see it loading. There you go. Anti-cheat loaded 100%, so the game is verified. The hashes are verified, which is why we put in the AES key. And the game is launching. Next, mod the game, right? So now what we want to do is we want to change Iron Fist to Neo for our example. So we're going to exit the desktop. So now we want to install Neo to replace Iron Fist. I have the zip here, so we're going to open that. Inside this file, we will find a pack file, just like we have in here. Take this pack file over to a folder that you've created somewhere else. I call it mods. I created it on my desktop. Now, if I open the mods folder, we will see that I have in there Neo Iron Fist P dot pack. In here, I'm going to go back to Marvel games. So I'm looking at Engine Marvel, Marvel EXE, and version JSON. Here I have mods. Reopen F model. Click directory. Click selector. Choose the undetected game once more and three dots next to directory. Now, go to where you've located that mods folder. Select the folder. Hit the plus for game. This is very important. Select UE versions, game, Marvel Rivals. Hit OK. Now look, all we see is our mod. Here's what we're going to do. The exact same steps we did for the regular. Double click, one left click, right click, export folders contents. Export it immediately. Now, I didn't change my export folder, which is fine. So it went to the same place. Uh, sometimes they'll change it to the mods folder. Export. So I just grab this Marvel. I cut it. Come back to Marvel game. Paste it in here where the EXE is and replace the nine files in the destination. And that's it. You can now close F model. You can close the mod. You can close the folders. And you can launch the game. And you will see your newly applied mods. Free and enjoyable, no issues, no problems with the hash, no problems with the anti-cheat. There is still the risk, theoretically, of the company deciding that this is not something they want you to do, and they may ban your account. So here we go, game loads. We click log in, we have no issues logging in. Game comes up, shows us the intro movie, we hit space to skip. Now go to Heroes, click on Iron Fist, and you see right away our boy, Neo, which is far superior to having the regular Iron Fist in the game. And there you go. You have now successfully modded Marvel Rivals. Enjoy. Let me know if you want any mod links. I'll uh, hook you up. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining, and I hope you have a great time out there playing Marvel Rivals. I'll catch you on the next episode of Ferk Polo.